Hey guys, we just got us a new tent for North Face. Uh, we looked around, I mean, I, I looked all over Amazon and different websites and stuff like that. And I finally decided to get with it, uh, get this one from uh, North Face. It's a real good tent. We just got it in today. We're going to set it up some. We're going to actually be using this in our tournament sale in New York. It's going to be nice weather down there. And uh, it's 100% waterproof, guaranteed. But uh, we're going to set it up and we'll see how easy it is set up. So we figure we show you guys how this thing works out just in case you're in the market for a tent too. Okay, guys, let's get going. Let's see here. That's the packing list. All right. Here is the tent. Oh, I guess all oh, in one bag is, you'd be surprised how heavy that is. I don't know what that weighs, but it's fairly heavy. Let's try to save this plastic bag. It'd be good to put it back in, keep them back the truck, keep the original bag from getting dirty. This thing untied here, got hair in it. There we go. All right. What's awesome about this tent too, you guys, you can see it comes in a back in a in a pack to where it can actually be a backpack. And you're gonna walk into the woods with it, just like that. So see, that's really cool. So if I was going off into the woods somewhere and uh, want to use it for deer hunt or what have you, just camping, uh, you know, I can easily walk and carry other things with me. So. Really cool. All right. Like I said, I've never set one of these things up, so we'll learn on the way. So let me know how this opens. Got a nice little drawstring in here. Pull that out. All right. There's the tent. The backpack bag. Throw it over here. Couple of straps tied with. I figured maybe those should be Velcro straps. Be nice to have on there, but you always have them yourself. All right. There's other rods. Bag of tent stakes here. Pretty sure these supposed to be all aluminum coated. I'm just gonna dump the whole thing out one time for painted per rod. And you see these are really nice aluminum rods. They're not cheap fiberglass. Really good tents. Like I said, I did my homework on this. So we've got like two different colors. We've got the green. And we've got the silver. We'll separate these. I've done a lot of camping over the years. I used to take a lot of wilderness survival classes uh, up in New Jersey at Tom Brown Jr. several years ago. I always loved that. These are going to be the tent stakes. Throw this tent out, see what we got. Here's the rain fly. Being waterproof was one of the most important things to me on this tent, you guys. And this one here is supposed to be 100% waterproof. I really love. I've had all kinds of tents over the years. I love these rods. You know, I want something that's going to really hold up the weather. You know, a lot of times you'd be down the lake or out camping, and uh, you can have high winds come up, come back, your tent's all blown all over the place and bent over. There's nothing worse than that. Let's see here. This should. Slide through here. I'm guessing the yellow goes through the yellow, of course. That's the part of the tree. Put that over there. Alright, we'll cut the tree all the way through. Got it there, Diana? Yeah. All the way through, alright. So, I'm going to go in and put the other rod through. Here. But another yellow one's gonna go this way. 
the silver one, maybe more for the ring fly. Get this one set up. Like I said, guys, first time I've set this thing up, and uh, we'll just see how long it takes to figure it out. Excited for this tent. Like I said, I've done plenty of homework. And there's a lot of them out there to choose from. I just read the reviews and stuff, and you know, they have a good sales pitch on the ad, or even on the video. You read some reviews and stuff. All uh, these tents claim to be waterproof, end up not being waterproof. Turn that up there, girl. There you go. One through. Yeah, it is. All right, get the camera going. All right, there you go. All right. So we got that. Everybody, here's the end of it. So I am going to attempt to stick that through there, like that. Hopefully, I'm doing this right. So I'm going to pull this one. Whoops, looks like it don't come loose over there. Bigger than I thought it was going to be, which is good as far as height. Uh, a little bit stiff right there. Uh, so it's pretty cool right here, you guys. Got that all set up like that. I'm going to snap these on. Real easy. We probably really need two people working on this. She's helped me some. But she's trying to film at the same time. We're getting those poles in kind of tight, but it being tight is probably the main key or structure being good and solid too. Guys, now this is going to have Like I said, I watched a video on this a couple days ago. Maybe this. Yeah, I can't I this this one. And then the curves on it. We'll give it a shot. I guess it helped get the instructions out, but I never was an instruction kind of guy. Unless I couldn't figure it out. Usually one way or the other, I usually figure it out too. You know, key is figuring out without breaking something. All right. So, that should go this way. Now, they had this tent in a four person as well.
All right, guys, the next rod that we're going to be putting in is going to be more of a long straighter rod. The one with contour on the two, two sides of it right there is going to be for the rain fly. All right. So, uh, this bit over here. Snap it in. What I'm going to do now is kind of slide this tent this way. Especially if you're setting this stuff up by yourself. I'm going to do it that way. That way it's not a lot of work. That snap right in. There we go. See how much higher that front of that tent is. You know, for a guy like me, six foot, you know, you walk in this thing, no problem at all. You know, see that? I mean, it's fantastic. I'm six foot two, you guys. Plenty of room here for me and her both to sleep. We'll put some air mattresses and stuff in here. Have my coffee pot and stuff in here. We'll charge our phones and bring the computer in here and work on our videos and stuff at night and everything. So that's cool. Good looking tent. All right, now she's going to set the camera down, you guys. Help me slide that rain fly over. We'll get that figured out, get it set up, and, uh, you know, let you see what we got. Yeah, it looks even better. This rod right here, that's cool. Alright. So now, I'm just going to set this in, slide this in here. Alright, there's that. Alright, I believe. Slide it through here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, I believe, yeah, go for it. What we need to do is put the back of it. Like that. Right. these little clips right here you guys like I said I didn't watch a uh, instruction video might save me a little bit of time but I like figuring things out all right that's cool all right guys I believe all we got left I believe anyways driving a few stakes in I'm just going to tap them in. Like I said, we're just setting this up for the first time. See what it looks like. I ain't going to drive them all the way. I'm going to be careful when we get in. Think off of that though, so we don't pull them up. A little sledgehammer. Alrighty.
I probably ain't gonna pull all these out guys just to tie all this down like I said we're just doing this to look at it but you can see all of these I'll pull these two back ones out and do it I don't know how we got this tied in here pulls out This kind of pulls that ring fly tight, you guys. Put that in there. Get this other one. Real neat how they got those tied up there. Just adjusting these strings here. Just don't have so much out. One thing you gotta do anytime you're setting up a tent like this. Uh, you want to make sure at night you don't trip over these things if you get out walking around a tent. Because I've done it before. Alright. There we go. And let's see. You know, of course, you guys, you can uh, drive stakes right here by your poles if you need to. I don't think you need to on this, but you could. Just uh, if, if it's going to be real, real windy. You gonna sleep out here tonight, babe? Come on, let's sleep out here. Donna, don't be laughing at me. All right, I'm hitting a rock right there, so I ain't gonna drive that no more. But we're gonna go to Lake Champlain. Weather should be beautiful. Beautiful part of the country. And, uh, camping weather. All right. Guys, I believe we got her. Like I said, there's more tie downs. There's no need to be doing all those tonight. You see what we got? Tents all tied up like that. Say good and dry. Now, let me have the camera. Once you open up the door in there, this is the area I told you guys that it's just a sitting room area. See that right there? We leave a door open, get wind, we can sit there and talk. If it's raining, I can work on tackle. You know, it's going to have to be close all up in the tent. Inside there she goes. It. Inside the tent, you guys. And you I'm sure that ties back somehow. Looks like up front there. Find something there, huh? You can do with that. There you go. Perfect. Good job, babe. All right, we are ready, you guys. Huh? Look how big, how, how much room we got in here, you guys. Show them how much room you got when you're inside. All right. See right there? I ain't had too many tents in my life where uh, I could stand up and walk around in them. It is sweet, really sweet right here. Good room. We, you know, we open up these back doors uh, back here, you guys. That opens up also from the ring fly. We need to get out. You know, if a bear is chasing Dinah or something, she can run out this way, or I can run out that way, and she can stay here and fight the bear off. I don't but like that. It's escape door. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> but you know, you, what you can do, guys, you may want the ring fly up on top, but you may want to get some breathing room. So there, you see there, you can let some air through it. You can do the same way there, leave one of them doors open like that. It's fantastic, I love it. What do you think, Dinah? I like it too. Pretty cool, ain't it? Yeah, I just can't wait. Yeah. It's gonna be my first time camping <laughs> here. It is, ain't it? Good deal.
All right, guys, that's our North Face tent. You guys, it's a great thing to do. Uh, you and your wife, you and your girlfriend, uh, you know, take, get out, get in the outdoors, go camping, go down the lake, uh, take your kids out. I'm telling you what, I always took, took my kids out when they was growing up, they always loved it. But anyways, it just bring you closer to the outdoors, closer to nature, and uh, buy you a good tent. And it's something you have for years and years and years. You know, I spend a little extra money on it. Uh, make sure it's waterproof. That way you don't have those, some miserable, if it does rain or something like that, it doesn't get miserable. That was the whole ideal going ahead and buying this North Face tent. But uh, we're gonna take this thing down, you guys, pack it up. Next time we set it up, we'll be in Lake Champlain, get ready to fish the Major League Fishing Toyota Series there on Lake Champlain. We'll be heading there in about two weeks. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, I appreciate it. Let me know if you guys have done any camping, where you go camping at, what kind of tents you've had, what kind of experience you've had with your tents and stuff. So uh, guys, again, thanks, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next time.